the worldwide search for a Cabarrus County teenager accused of killing three members of his family in a drunk driving crash has now ended in Paris, France. The crash happened back in September in Midland. Queen City News reporter Casey Jones has been on top of this story since it happened. She is at the Cabarrus County Detention Center with new details. Solomon Yorgi will eventually end up here at the Cabarrus County Detention Center. The 19 year old is accused of leaving the country to avoid felony charges for driving drunk in a crash that killed his parents and 12 year old brother. That crash happened back on September 20th, just before eight in the morning. There's a memorial sitting on the side of Highway 2427 near Bethel School Road to mark the spot of the tragedy. Officials say Yorgi was the driver of the van with four other passengers inside. Reports say Yorgi swerved into oncoming traffic, hitting two other vehicles, Nicolay, Adela, and Leonidas. Yorgi all died at the scene. Officials tell Queen City News Yorgi left the hospital the day of the crash, made it to Mexico, then traveled to Paris, France, where U.S. Marshals helped track him down. Right now, authorities are working to bring Solomon Yorgi back to America, where he will end up here at the Cabarrus County Sheriff's Office to face three counts of felony death by vehicle and one count of felony serious injury by vehicle. Reporting from Cabarrus County, Casey Jones, Queen City News.